Hey, Jody Holland here. We've got the next edition of Fun with Faces. I'm at West Texas A&M University in the Student Engagement Office. Here we go. Okay, so introduce yourself. I'm Missy Macon. All right, so a few things that I notice about you are one, you have a pretty small filter between your brain and your mouth, so you oh. tend to say the things you're thinking. At the end of the day, you'll do best if people leave you alone for about 15 minutes. Um, mm -hmm. You're a fairly independent, not overly independent person. You respond very well to verbal affirmations. You're balanced between task and relationship, and you judge yourself based on what you think other people think of you. Oh. So, <laughs> Introduce yourself. I'm Darcy Weber. All right, so Darcy, a couple things about you. You tend to make your decisions rooted in logic. You're goal and uh, accomplishment oriented. So you kind of have a low tolerance for whiny people in your life who would rather that they just not bother you too much. You start with task before relationship, and you have a tendency to be a little bit more on the big picture side. Your ears would tell me that you are an auditory kinesthetic, so you will First, create logic and process in the way you do things, and then kinesthetic is use your gut for your final decision. Mm -hmm. All right, introduce yourself. Sammy Landers. All right, so Sammy, nicknamed Slanders. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little frustrated in your relationships at times because you give a whole lot more than you tend to get back. Mm -hmm. So you're one of those people that you uh, have friends that you're thinking, come on, seriously, just do something nice for me for once. <laughs> Never say it. <laughs> never, never like that. You tend to think about things and overthink about things. Use your intellect for the way that you process the world. You are balanced between goals and people orientation. You tend to be a visual processor as your primary type. So you create connections and see the connections between other things. You learn best if people will either show you what's going on or they will give you a comparison of when you do this, it'll be just like this other thing. One of the things really cool about you, two things actually, one is you tend to use sarcasm and wit in the way that you deal with conflict and stress in your life, and you know when to be charming and when to be direct. So, fantastic she quality. Does. Good job. Fantastic. Okay, so introduce yourself. Kimberly Cornelston. All right, so Kimberly, several things about you. One is you're a very strong-willed person, so if you decide you're going to get something, you get it. I know that. Right on. <laughs> so the will pad, the little part in between your eyebrows, when that pops out, that's how you know oh, somebody's strong will. I also know that from your left eyebrow that... <laughs> I need a mirror, like right here. <laughs> you have a little arch in your left eyebrow, which would indicate that you like to keep things under control in your personal life. Oh, for sure. <laughs> So, They're agreeing with you. Yes. And then the way your eyelids sit would tell me that you're a person of action. So it really irritates you for people to sit around and talk too much and not do stuff. So is, is that on? Okay. It's right on. Fantastic. And then the last thing that I'll say, well, two things I'll say. Your nose tells me that you like to have a mission, that you can't work just for money, that you have to have a greater purpose behind it, and you also really hate to be left out of the loop. So you like to know exactly what's going on. That's the ball on the end of your nose. All right. Next we have... I'm Amanda Lawson. All right, Amanda. Several things about you that I notice. Uh, one is the way that your eyes kind of sit back in your head. You have a tendency to take everything in. So don't be fooled. She knows what's going on. She may not say it always, but she knows exactly what's going on. You also have that strong will and you have a tendency to make your decisions rooted in emotion versus rooted in logic. Uh, you probably like to travel, but you prefer that other people pay for it. Your right cheekbone <laughs> sits slightly higher than your left, so business trips will be fun for you. And you have a little line on your chin that says you respond well to verbal affirmation. So everyone should give you a compliment at some point today. Perfect. And our last one. Okay, introduce yourself. Aloysa Rain of Ricks. All right, so Aloysa, here we go. Several things about you. You have a little line running down the center of your chin, which means that when things get tense, you'll make people look at you and make fun of yourself in order to calm people down. Your eyebrows tell me that you're mentally assertive and that you went a different direction than your family of origin, so a different direction than your parents did. Uh, you tend to be very charming and persuasive. You use sarcasm and wit more in your personal life than you do in your professional <laughs> life. And the lines that run straight across on your forehead tell me that you are very tenacious. You don't quit when you decide you want something. Mm -hmm. So you create a plan and you execute. 
So, this is the Student Engagement Office out at West Texas A&M, one of the greatest universities on the face of the planet.